and gentlemen, members and friends, to celebrate 20 years of the Scotchmont Whiskey Society, we've released three casks to celebrate the 20th anniversary, to share around with members around the country. And of course, it all started back for us in 2002 with John Rourke on and Andre Tamas coming together, two mates who just wanted to share the good love of whiskey. They did a bit of a tour around Australia, tasting some whiskies, and their general question whilst tasting them and doing these events was, yeah, but do you like it? Would you buy a bottle of this? Are you interested in the society? And you've got to understand, 2002 was a very different time in the whiskey scene in Australia, and indeed the world, but Australia was still very much in its infancy in some ways of uh, appreciating good whiskey and appreciating good single malt. And availability of single malt back then was extremely limited compared to what it is today. And uh, the society was a breath of fresh air as it continues to be today in driving that force of good appreciation and good understanding and education and entertainment around great whiskey. And how it's shared with friends is what it's all about. For our anniversary of these three casks, we're rounding out the trio uh, with 10.225 Servo Surf and Turf. Now, this is actually the most fun name, uh, some fun name drawn, I think, in some ways, because it, you, you say servo, and even when uh, we, we told the name to the UK panel of what we want to call this after they approved it, and after we tasted it, we said, yeah, it's like servo, surf, and turf. And they said, what's a servo? Well, you know, if you're an Australian, you know that a servo is a service station, a petrol station, and surf and turf, of course, is surf and turf. And so it might sound a bit weird and, and uh, wacky to start with, but let's crack the seal on this one and see how the flavor is holding up Servo Surf and Turf. I've not tasted this since the samples came through back in 2019. So we had to prove these casks uh, a while ago to make sure they were ready in time for this year's anniversary celebrations. But we really wanted something peated in the mix. And this is really unusual for two reasons. It's a 10 that's in the peated category. We see some unpeated 10s and we see some peated. But this one is not just your any old peated. This is actually quite a heavily peated spirit run from the distillery of this distillate year that was done. And second of all, it's from a recharred hogshead. So it's actually a very active cask and a very peated spirit. So this is an exciting fresh open. That was a quite a subtle cork pop, but I'll, I'll, I'll cope, I'll cope. Let's just have a bit of a pour of that. Just a, a, a sneaky little one. It is mid-afternoon at the moment, so I'm, I'm not gonna go uh, too big on that pour just yet. Oh, immediately fish and chips. Like, and also like, like vinegar like a splash of vinegar on some uh, on some flake. Yeah, like uh, chicken salt and vinegar on flake. If you like fish and chips, if you're a fan of fish and chips by the beach, this is your dram. The turf is maybe a bit there as well. <laughs> but the surf is definitely there. This is just fantastic. It immediately leaps out of the glass. A bit of pine cone. Pine needle, I should say, as well. Bit of tarry rope, but not too much. Sometimes the tens can be a bit tarry and a bit sort of like uh, waxy and tarry. This one is a little bit waxy on the nose, but it's not really tarry. So it's not it's not that usual sort of dirtiness that you get out of some tens. It's much cleaner than I anticipated. A little bit of it there though. Definitely quite a bit, uh, quite a bit more peated than I was expecting. It's in the right in the middle of the peated profile. It's not lightly and it's not heavily, but I think it, I think it's really in the right profile this time. Let's have a taste. Oh, vinegar splash again, but in a in a really nice way, like a really nice vinegar. A bit of balsamic as well. Rocket salad, balsamic and rocket salad with on a, on a around a beach fire. A bit of seared steak. Seared steak with smoked salt. Oh, that just I think if you have a dram of this with a steak with some smoky salt, I think that would just you'd be in flavor heaven straight away. That's lovely stuff. 59.5% in celebration of the 20th anniversary of the SMWS in Australia. The club that's been leading the charge in whiskey appreciation now for 20 years and uh, we're very proud to celebrate this milestone of course it'll be 40 years next year for the global club of course for the entire society but 20 years this year is a really special milestone for us celebrating what we've done and what we've changed on the scene and we're really excited to present present these bottlings as both a three bottle uh limited edition pine a box set but also individually keep it on the outturn days 7 14 21 of october and um There'll be plenty of opportunities at both events 
online and second chance ballot to grab one of these bottlings. We've got the whole cask of each, so you don't need to stress too much, but I guarantee you they'll be pretty popular with members, as understandably so when the cask selection is, uh, is this quality. Until next time, happy 20th anniversary SMWS. I hope to be here for the 30th anniversary and I hope to see you all soon. Sanjava.